Hey everybody, Monkey Puzzle here, and welcome to something a little bit different. I thought we would play another game today, a little short one, called Far Loan Sales. I've got a Steam library full of games, and I thought, let's start adding a little bit more variety. Let's play a few games that are simpler than Ark and won't be as intense, but just that we can do some short little playthroughs and uh, check out some other things. I've got a big Steam library full of games that I'd like to check out with you all. And this one was graciously given to me by the developers, Okamotive. And so I wanted to check it out and see what it's like. I watched my buddy Arali play a couple episodes of it, so that's as far as I've seen. And I did play a little bit. I played like half an hour of it just to check it out and see if I liked it. And I do. It's very compelling, very atmospheric. It's simple in concept, but still, it makes you want to keep going. And keeping going is a big part of it, as we'll see. So I just want to show you here real quick. I've got no mouse. The controls are very simple. I can just walk, jump, take, zoom in, and zoom out. And that is it. So... Let's go back. We've got it on highest graphic settings, which I'm sure are still not very demanding. So let's go straight into a new game and see what we think. Yeah, so I'm fine with that. Let's start anew. So I hope you guys like this. Let me know what you think. Of course you will. I'm going to do a full playthrough of it and break it up into episodes. And shouldn't take too long. From what I've seen, it's takes about three hours to play the whole game. So we'll see how far I get today. But here we are in the very beginning of it. This looks like a little scene from my childhood. Obviously something bad has gone down. Things are kind of in ruins, but that looks like that must have been my treehouse. And there's a picture of my dad and a little toy pinwheel and a little prompt for arrows to go back and forth and I can jump and I'm red. <laughs> so I could be male or female and that's cool. So uh, anybody can play this and identify. And we've got this kind of very stark black and white landscape that is, I guess, sort of post-apocalyptic, but still very beautiful in its black and white way. And it looks large, even though... We can only go side to side. So, yeah, this is kind of a side-scroller. I guess it's a little bit of a platformer, which is something really outside of what I normally do. We got something red here, and it fell off, and that's a prompt that I can pick things up. So I've got my mailbox here, and we've got a house. Let's go on in. And I really love this part about the game, how whenever you enter a structure, you get this little see-through view of it, and then you go back out, and it's solid again. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know why I like that so much, but I do. All right, so here is a house. There's a button here. You jump up and the lights turn on. So I suspect that this was the home I grew up in. And now it seems deserted, forlorn, forlorn and broken down. And it's probably time to move on. You can see there's a little foreshadowing here. There's this light um, right here that's shine, shining on some plans on the wall. So that must be something significant. Go out here to the back porch and look out. And then come on up into the attic here. And this looks like it must have been my room. So it wants me to press X that I can zoom in. And as soon as you let go of X, it goes uh, back out and then I can press C and that pulls out too. And it, it rubber bands back in as soon as I let go of it as well. So that must be my childhood bed. There's a portrait of me. Let's see if we can throw that down and jump up here. We grab this light, <laughs> throw it down. <laughs> and I think that's it. Notice this little hook up here. That's going to be a repeating theme. And we've now gone through the one-way valve. There's no going back. We have to only move forward. So, And this looks like another one. So let's see if we can push this down, maybe. And go on. 
And this looks like my bag. Oh, we got the lamp. Let's throw it down. And then, yeah, we got my bag. Down here in the basement, it's a nice little touch. This must have been my childhood stroller. And a little bit of subdued red catch my attention. And I think that's it. I think it's time to say goodbye to our childhood home and move on. Got those other objects there, but I can only carry one at a time. So let's head on over and see what we can find. Hear the wind blowing and the rustling of the grass. Some buildings back in the distance. Nice little seagull there. Hello, seagull. And this looks like it must be the beach. Some broken down boats. Looks like they've seen better days. Still little bits of red here and there to get, get our attention. And we're in the water and it's misty. So you can see what I mean. This is a very atmospheric game. There's a lot of nice little touches. It's quite the art game. I mean, just like the little bit of someone did a painting on a rock there. Just as a little thing to show us that something has been, somebody has been here. Just to give, you know, some sense of past presence to the landscape. So what is this? Check it out. This is what we saw in the plans, on the wall, in the house. This is our new vehicle slash home slash way to move forward in the game. And I don't know what you call this. It's quite the juggernaut. It's not a train. It's not a car. It's just this big thing. <laughs> so if I jump up, we got a little elevator there. Up here, we've got like a little bedroom. We've got a chair. Let's put my bags down. We've got a lamp lighting things up. A little chair. And what else can we do? We can come over here. This is a fire hose in case things go bad. Wonder, can't go up that way. So here's the controls for the thing when we're ready to go. The little elevator actually goes all the way up. And we can get up here. If we come from this side. So you can't take fall damage, you just kind of float down. We've got something red there in the front. Can I grab that? Oh, what is that? Interesting. So I can kind of pull that. I wonder what that is. Some kind of winch or something? I'm not sure. And then up here, this is our fuel room, basically. So these little boxes, which I can pick up and put down, I can stick on the hook. If I push this button right here, you can see that it's converted into energy. And from what I can make out in this game, anything can be converted into energy. So we're going to have to be on the lookout for things that we can do that. And once we get rolling, you'll see it's a whole game of conserving momentum and using what energy you have available to you in order to um, keep moving. And I was going to try to be clever just now. I was going to try to go back. Excuse me, I just had a little coffee fit. I was going to try to go back for the mailbox and for the lan lantern so that I could use those as a little extra fuel. But apparently there's no going back. The it does that where it kind of feels like you can go wherever you want, sandboxy style, but uh, when you can't, it just keeps zooming out. And that's kind of the end of that. So um, I guess we got to move forward with what we got. I think we can safely right now put a second one of these in because it's looks like it's just halfway full. If we're going to be really conservative, we'd wait, but I think we're good. That's going to fill us up. Hopefully we didn't waste any energy like that. So let's move on. This is the go button. Break our structures and get out of here. And you can push that button to kind of various degrees. And when you push it in hard enough, it sticks. And we are rolling. A thing is moving. And you can see right there, the steam builds up. And right when it glows red like that, I think, is the optimum time to press it to get a little boost. And like I said, it seems to be a game of conservation of momentum. You build up some inertia. 
and you got to keep it rolling. So, and we've got to get this big thing to the end of the game. Oop, press the steam. And we've got some speed going on. So let's keep it going. I'm not sure exactly how to conserve, but it seems like once you've got some, once you're moving, it's best just to keep it going. So this is about to glow red again. Boom. Let's go. It's got the go music rolling with us. <laughs> and get up the hill. Up oh, or out of energy. Okay, and it looks like it keeps rolling. We just got over that hump, so we're rolling forward. That's good. So we got whoop, one more box here. So let's grab it. Put it on the little energy sucker. See how much we get. So that was another half. And let's go. Hopefully we'll find some more fuel uh, before we run out. Because that's it. That's all we got. Well, it's actually not all we got. But um, hopefully we won't get to there. <laughs> Because I think I could actually burn the things I've got on here. I could burn my chair. Oh, 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 there's some stuff. This is a break right here, so let's stop. Woohoo! So yeah, I think I could actually burn my chair. I could burn my bag, but I'd rather not. What are you? Are you another little winchy thing? What do you do? Oh, see, I can kind of pull it. Interesting. So if I'm in a real jam, I wonder if I could pull the thing through the whole game. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, so let's uh, get our fuel stored here. Our four little boxes. So that's a little bit more than we had before. And I'm not sure how unforgiving this game is about fuel and what happens if you really run out of it. Get a little hang of the controls. And then we'll be moving on. Yeah, so let me know what you think of this game. I'm going to have the whole thing recorded. I got to stop pressing that. I'm dropping my stuff. So we definitely got to put one on there. Um, but hopefully you like it. I definitely think it's charming. So there's our last box that I can see. Let's get that on here. So that last one gave us more than half. So I'm just going to leave this one here. I'm not going to load it yet. Get it on there, ready to go. Because I don't want to waste any. So those ones were like a little extra loaded than the previous ones that only gave us half. But now we are rolling again. So the little button sticking. The steam's building up. Let's go. Let's get this thing moving. I think once you're rolling, it's best just to keep it going. Especially if you're going uphill like that. You don't want to lose your momentum. And I guess I could be nudging the uh, this a little bit more. A little bit better. Let's use what steam we got. And then let's lock the brakes so that we don't lose any progress. All right, so let's go ahead and load that one. See how much that gives us. Not sure if that's half or a little bit more than half. Let's go. So yeah, this is not the most efficient vehicle ever. It's so huge. Oh, we got some boxes. Let's get all the way over here and stop. Like the brakes almost couldn't do it there, <laughs> but they did. <laughs> so now I feel like we're pretty loaded. That's a lot of fuel. Go ahead, put that one in. Yeah, that didn't overload it. And get all these in. So it's just kind of the kind of game that just you kind of just relax and take your time with. I guess you could rush it. But it seems better just to... Enjoy the atmosphere and just, yeah, really take your time with the art that they've put into it. 
Okay, so we've got a bunch of fuel now. Oop, where am I going? There's a few other things down here, too. What's this? Oh, that reels that in. Okay. So it is a winch. Oh, and we've got a couple other little hooks here. We could hang some other stuff. I guess so if we get some more fuel. All right. Let's get going. Go. I guess I'm not being very subtle, just pushing that in all the way every time. It seems like the thing to do. Waiting for that steam to build up. Let's go. Get us out of the hole. Rolling along. It seems like it barely can make it. Come on, you can do it. Oh, we got some fuel coming up. Go ahead and stop there. And grab that stuff. Can I get this like that? Oh, and that's a big one. Okay. So we're really loading up here. Why don't we put some of these right there? This one. Grab this. It looks like we're going to have to go under the ramp to get the last one there. But I shouldn't take it for granted, but it feels like we got a lot of fuel right now. But I'm sure they've worked it out so you don't get too much. You can't make the game too easy, right? Okay. Get them all loaded up up here and ready to go. Let's move along. See if we can get somewhere. This thing looks like it shouldn't be able to hold my vehicle. <laughs> We're going to crash through it. Come on. Oh, out of fuel. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Stop. Don't lose your momentum. Oop. Okay, this is a little bit problematic here. Put that one in there. I'm pretty sure those are just half, so let's just go for it. And I suspect that barrel's going to be a full. We'll see. Let's keep it rolling. Probably better to have two of the halves in there so that you don't lose momentum unnecessarily. Get on up this rickety boardwalk and move on to the next part of the game. So that steam gives you a pretty big old boost. Keep that in. We're going uphill. We got to keep it going. Now this thing is a beast, man. It looks like it could roll through anything. Uh, I do have a bit of a spoiler. I know from watching the Raleigh that that is not the case. <laughs> that it can take damage. And we don't want that. But here we go. Use that steam. Doesn't seem to do a whole lot when it's not really built up. Oh, and there. That waste not, want not. I doubt we can afford to not pick any up that we see. Here, we'll just leave this one down here. Hopefully it won't, like, roll out. And, uh, time to put some more of these in. We have a little bit in there, so... I don't think I can put two now. Because then we would really waste some. And let's go. Keep this train rolling. So we got some big things behind us. Not sure what they are. It looks like an old wall with railing, maybe. Let's go. Don't lose your momentum. See in the distance in the back there, there's... This looks like an old freight yard. And can I get through here? Oh, boom. I cannot. So what do I need to do? 
knock some of my stuff down. Oop, let's get that. Stay inside there. I don't think I can go this way anywhere. Oh, I can. Oh, it looks like there's something on that crane to come down. So let's see if we can get that. Maybe. Oh, it looks like we can go right up here. Can I get up there? I can't. Oh, what's that? It's a ball. Let's keep the ball. Burn it for energy, too. All right, it went inside. Excellent. In case we get in a pinch. All right, push the button. So I think you can tell right there what it's lowering is a sail. And that's going to help us out a lot. Because now we won't be dependent just on fuel. We can actually use some wind power. That's excellent. And it's lifting it up so we can keep moving. I got lucky it didn't do any damage to me there, even though I hit the steam right before it. Well, so we can walk on the sail. You see we got a little windsock here showing us which way the wind's going. Well, I press this. Sails up. They don't look like the best sails ever. Okay, I got to push all the way for them to stay up. They got big old holes in them. <laughs> but they seem to be doing the job. So we are rolling. I better get in here where I got my controls. Got my fuel all over the place. Oop. Just grab that. I don't know where my little ball went. Oh, it's over in a little fuel room. Okay. Let me back down. Oop. Oop. Ooh. Uh-oh. We're, we're on fire. Okay, uh, let's get this. Let's go put the fire out. Okay. <laughs> I don't need to do that. We're rolling. We got no fuel in here, actually. But we're completely wind-powered, sustainable, no emissions. <laughs> we don't want to pollute the post-apocalypse or whatever happened here. So we're cruising. Well, folks, we're 22 minutes in. I think I'm going to end it right here, and we'll pick up right here next time. So thanks for watching until the end of this one, and I will see you in the next one.